Welcome to Ampersand Unique Gifts and Home Decor. My name is Sarah. Today I'm doing a collaboration video with a bunch of my awesome creator friends and I'm going to put the links to their videos in my description. So make sure that you go out and you check them out. There's a lot of really neat things out here. If you like DIY, repurposing, redesigning, refinishing uh, products, furniture, and creating new home decor, then you are going to love this group of people. Our theme this, this quarter is about what makes us us. So I'm really excited about this one because my business and therefore my channel started with the whole idea of repurposing. And while I also just do furniture flips and redesigns and make some new home decor, really at the heart of it all, it's around taking something that either had a purpose that's outlived or just something that you can come up with a new design, whether you're looking at your own home decor, whether you're thrifting, yard sailing, auctioning, um, it just gives you a new outlook of what you can do with those items. So anyway, enough about that. Let's get started. I'm going to take these two thrift, uh, thrifted frames and turn them into a totally new look. So I'll see you on the flip side. So the first frame is a larger frame. It has the glass in it and has a picture in it. The second frame is a kind of metallic frame and it is just the outside wood edge. It does not have any glass or a back in it. So this larger one I'm going to turn into an antiqued mirror look. So I want to get all those staples out of there, take the backing off, and get that glass out of there so I can clean it really well. And I'm using a 50% vinegar and water mixture. I'm just making sure that there's nothing sticky or anything on it that's going to keep my paint from adhering the way I want it to. This is an IOD Rose Toil stamp and I am going to use a black paint gold paint mixture and my brayer to add this flower design around three of the corners and a little bit in the middle and then also using the IOD Kindish Regard stamp I'm going to add the letters on there as well. Now this is the first time I've ever created a mirror from glass and I have several lessons learned and the first one is when you do lettering it's backwards because you're actually putting your paint on the back side of the glass and the other side is what we'll show. So it still looks really cool, but I didn't even think about the fact that it was going to be backwards. Um, so once I had the stamps the way I wanted and had enough of the coverage, I used the crack allure stamp and added just a little bit more around the edge and then I went over to the frame. Using an old sanding block and some 220 sandpaper, um, I think I was probably cleaning off dirt more than anything, but the gray on the front side was crackly and really neat so I just kind of worked a little bit to get any places where it was coming off and I knew that it might continue to chip. Um, I also checked just to make sure that the frame was very solid and I didn't need to re-glue anything back together. So this is my IOD mold and I apologize because I can't think right now what the mold was but I will put in the description a list of all the items that I use in this video so that you'll know um, which brands and colors and everything that I use. So this design is flowers with a, with a ribbon around it and I put one in each corner of this frame. It had a beautiful scalloped edge but it just seem, seemed like it needed a little bit more embellishment. So using the Gorilla Glue wood glue, I glue these molds when they're still wet because then it's very pliable and you can stick it where you need it and then I take my finger and I just put another coat of the Gorilla Glue over the top for extra protection. So here what you can't see happening is I am spraying the water vinegar mixture on the glass again on the same side where my paint is and it's bubbling up. You don't want to mist, you want it to be big droplets because you're going to daub those up after you spray your looking glass spray. 
So I put a couple, couple coats here just in one sweep of the Krylon Looking Glass Spray. And then I'm gonna take a rag, and my rag is just an old t-shirt cut up, and I'm gonna daub it up and get those places where it was wet and the paint doesn't stick. This is only one layer, and you can see that it's already starting to get that mirror look. And this process is just a matter of going back and forth and doing layer after layer. So you're gonna do, you know, your vinegar water droplets, then you're gonna paint it again, and then you're gonna daub it up, and you continue to do this until you get a good reflective um, you know, pattern like the way that you want it. My second lesson learned on my first time here is to use more layers of the looking glass spray than you think. So you really want to go until you have a good look when you're looking at it from the mirrored side and you feel very confident and then you want to add more. Because for me, once you do the final step of adding the black over top on the back side so that your mirror is very um, consistent, I had a lot of the black come back through where my spray wasn't as thick on my mirrored side. So uh, in the future, I'll continue to do a little bit more. Um, where I intentionally had places that did not have that mirror, so I wanted it to look as though it was that um, where it was wearing off like antique mirrors do, I added this DIY brand liquid sunshine color uh, just to give it that pop of color and give it a little style. So I just daubed that paint in there and just did it in about three different places just so that it would have some color in the picture really easy wonderful way to do it and then I went back over with my Krylon spray again um, a couple times actually um, but when I put the black over it like I said then I found that you could see some streaks where I had the black um, you want to make sure to let it dry really well in between here I did use three coats of the black to make sure I got rid of all of the streaks um, and then I went over here and added a couple. So my battery died and I lost a little bit of footage. So I'm just hopping on here real quick. We're gonna catch up. Um, what I did, so I have two frames that I'm working on. Um, the first one is this frame here that I have painted yellow. It's the same yellow that is under, which you can't see here, with, uh, uh, under this black where I use the looking glass spray. Then um, I have a second one that I am using to make a tray, and that's what we lost, which was I'm using pallet boards um, to be able to, oops, I'm gonna walk backwards. Um, so here's the frame. Ta -da. And was I took, these are um, pallets that I cut apart, and I measured the wood and marked it. I don't know if you can see that pencil line on there. Um, and marked it so that I can get ready to cut these because they're going to go in here. I'm going to paint this frame and then they're going to fit inside there and then we're going to put handles on it and we're going to make a frame out of that one. So anyway, just wanted to kind of hop in um, and catch you up on where I am and here we go. We're going to get started again now that my phone has some charge and we're going to check out this mirror and see how it's turning out and we're going to tone down this yellow with some dark wax so i cannot wait to see how it turns out so once i had the yellow all on my frame i went through and distressed it i wanted to bring that gray back through and just give it a distressed look in a few places i went all the way to the wood and i cleaned up the back really well i didn't put any paint on the back and then i just sanded off anywhere where it came through and left that natural look but where i distressed the frame and it went all the way back to wood i did add the waverly antique wax on that wood um, just so that it wasn't so light I, I didn't want it to look like new wood so I did that around the edges where I had distressed it all the way back to that natural wood then I used the DIY top coat big coat or top coat and big top top coat there we go and I 
put a couple layers here because when I go back with that antique wax, I want to make sure I have a little bit of control. So I wanted to make sure to seal it. And then using that same top coat here, I sealed in the black on the back side of the mirror. I just wanted to really give it that extra um, durability. So now we're moving on to the next project. So here I have my palettes that I cut and made them all the shapes to go in, sanded them smooth and even. Um, I wanted it to be that old look, but I really wanted just to make sure that everything was smooth and easy, no splinters. And then I'm coming in with the DIY White Swan and I'm gonna go over my frame. This is just to really give it a good consistency with the different colors and I love the way that white looks with those old wood pieces from palettes. One of the things that's really neat about palettes is that it's all different types of wood so it gives those different colors and those different grains. So I'm gonna um, do that. I'm gonna also paint the handles. These drawer pulls are from an auction lot that I bought. I bought a huge box of all different kinds of drawer pulls and light switch covers and so I'm gonna also paint those white. The frame is a little bit gold looking versus the silver and the um, the handles were a silver so I had to try to kind of bring them back in together. So here I am taking that Waverly Antiquing Wax and giving that bow a good thick coat and then using what I daub out of there to smear down on the rest of the frame just so that again I can tone down that bright yellow of that liquid sunshine. And here I just wanted to make sure that I cleaned. This is the side where it does not have the paint and I cleaned it really well so that I could stick that in there and get the glass back in. I wanted that glass to stay really sturdy so here I'm using Starbond uh, glue in the medium and then, and then putting the accelerant on it. It helps it dry within 15 seconds. Put the back on. I use some finishing nails to hold it in there and then I add the hanging hardware with the cord and get it in there and it is completely ready to go. Flipping back over to my tray that I'm making, I just use water and a rag and I distress back some of that gold look and get that gold coming through. Um, again, same thing, I distressed a little bit on the handles, but then I also use that same gold patina to add it to try to help them to match the frame a little bit and added a little bit of that gold into the frame as well because even though it was originally gold it was a little bit different shade and that just helps tie everything together. So using my nailer with my air compressor I stapled in each of those boards so I go all the way down one side making sure that they are touching each other so there's no gaps through there. I go through and I nail them all down one side and then I turn it over and I nail them all the way down on the other side making sure to move my fingers out of the way before I do anything because every now and then the nailer does not exactly go exactly where I thought it was going to. So once I get all those in there I can then attach the handles. So um, I wanted to make sure I because I had painted it first I didn't want to paint it after the boards were in there for fear of getting paint on the boards but now I have the little the little holes where my brad staples went in so using the Durham's Hard Rock patty I am filling those little holes and then I'm just going to take a tiny little paintbrush and paint over that after it's dry and sanded and then I take a rag and just add that gold back in there so it's really easy this dries very fast especially with as little as I had to use and you cannot even tell that it ever had those little holes in there so here I am I'm gonna put the handles on here I just measured found the middle and then using my cordless drill I drilled through there and was able to just screw them right on easy peasy absolutely and here I am again sanding and just touching up those little holes so it turned out really well I think it's so cute um, I just am, I'm really happy with the way everything turned out if you are not already a subscriber then please definitely go out and subscribe to my channel if you like seeing videos like this and then don't forget this is a collaboration with a bunch of other creators so make sure to go out look at the list in my description and check out their videos as well